Good morning, everybody. This is Steve Fletcher with The Trumpet for My People. Today is August 30th, 2021, and I want to give you guys an update on this M flare that is coming to Earth over the next two days. And I want to share this uh, piece of information with you. Geomagnetic storm warning. One and perhaps two CMEs are about to hit Earth. The first hurled toward us by last Thursday's solar tsunami, which was a C3, is expected to arrive on August 30th. Okay, that's today. The second, ejected by Saturday's solar flare, which is an M4.7, could come on August 31st to September 1st. Neither CME is particularly bright or powerful. However, they could combine to produce G1 class geomagnetic storms, aurora alerts. And this, the second sunspot that came out of 2860, the second flare, which was a 4.7, came out of sunspot AR 2860, is big and it's ready to flare. <clears throat> and this was the picture of that even before it had uh, flared. So the there there were two okay a couple things to explain here uh, for those who are not up to speed on this and this is all new to me too and so this is why I want to go in to this. There's five different classification of flares and there's an A flare, there's a B flare. There's a C flare, and then it goes to M flare, and then it goes to X flare. Okay. So what we have then is we have a combination. There was a solar tsunami that took place on Thursday, and it was a C flare. It was a C3 flare. So then we have on on the, the 28th of August was an M flare. And it was actually a pretty uh, large M flare because it was a level four. You have A flares, B flares, C flares, M flares, X flares. And then within those levels, you have one, two, three, up to 10. Okay, so it's it could be an A1 or an A10, or it could be a B1 or a B10. So the first one was a C3, and the second one was an M 4.7 almost an m.5 an m5 so neither of these are particularly bright or powerful however they could combine to produce a g1 class geometric geomagnetic storm okay so the the uh the interesting detail about this is that they're coming together they are both earth facing in the video i shared with you the other day about this uh it explained this uh, this situation okay well I want to let you know that this is coming to earth between today tomorrow or September 1st and the combination of these two may create uh, more uh, activity than normal okay because it's not coming alone it's coming and it's going to combine between the two of these all right well I had shared with you now the sunspot is 28 60. Now, I shared with you in my previous video that 2860 is the value of bridegroom in the uh, Strong's Hebrew Concordance. Earth-facing M flare, 2860, which is the value of bridegroom, and it says in Matthew 25, 6, at midnight there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom comes go out to meet him. Now this could be the midnight cry coming off of the sun and coming to earth and we have everything already lined up for evacuation day deadline on August 31st. There's a huge movement around this whole Afghanistan that this is the evacuation deadline. Okay. Well, this is interesting that this goes together with that. <clears throat> that between August 31st and September 1st, we have 
the Sun Flare 2860, representative of the Bridegroom, the Midnight Cry, and Evacuation Day. Now, the other thing we had shared with you about the Evacuation Day, if we go back and look at the beginning of the flood date last year, the 17th of Chessvan was the day of the election. Then we have the 40-day connection to December 14th, the, the, uh, the middle point of the two great American eclipses, the confirmation of Joe Biden through the Electoral College, and we have the first vaccinations that took place on December 14th. And then we have the 150 days that takes us to Resurrection Day on Sunday, April 4th. Well, if we carry that out, then we're going to see that August 25th was the day that Noah dispatched the first dove, August 25th, 17th of Elul, and now we have Evacuation Day, which also corresponds to the second dove, when the dove brought back the olive leaf. And this then connects us with the uh, Feast of Trumpets, and on the first day of the first month in the time of Noah, which would be the first day of the seventh month in the time of Moses, on the Feast of Trumpets, the third dove was sent out, and when the third dove did not return, then Noah opened the ark on the Feast of Trumpets. Okay? So, we're watching this possibility of these solar flares coming between today and September 1st. Okay, is this the midnight cry of the bridegroom? And then we have the connection to the flood of Noah and the timing of the doves. Okay, could either be the last warning to August 31st or August 31st could be the last warning to the Feast of Trumpets on September 7th. Now, before I close this, I just that's the piece of information I wanted to share with you. But the, the important thing here is that not only did we have an, an M flare 2860 on August 28th, there's information that was pointing us to August 28th, very key, very important information that was pointing us to August 28th. And so not only did, did this sign come on any specific day, but there was a specific day that we were watching for the possibility of it either being the end or coming another sign on August 28th. So let me go back here and we'll uh, go back to the beginning and let me show you. Okay. <clears throat> so if we go back to May 26th and June 10th, we have this combination in one lunar cycle of the sun being turned into the dark, into darkness and the moon into blood before the day of the Lord. So this was a key time that we were watching. And then on June 10th, we had a man swallowed by a whale. And we had the detaining of Noah's Ark. So we had three signs that came on June 10th. This was a 40-day warning to the 9th of Av, the t and the 9th and the 10th of Av on July 19th, July 20th, as we were watching that time frame. But then within this, we had another sign of Jonah that appeared on June 24th, and this was through the, the, the saving of Jonah, a Jewish boy, out of the Miami uh, building collapse. Okay. Now, if we go forward from here, 44 days, which is the length of the time of the sign of Jonah, it's three days plus one day plus 40 days, would take us to August 7th. And we were watching then the birthday of Barack Obama because it lined up his birthday was on August 4th but his birthday party was on August 7th okay he revealed himself as the 666 man when he asked everybody to give six or sixty or six hundred dollars just as the Bible says here is wisdom he that hath understanding let him count the number of the beast for it is the number of a man and his number is six hundred sixty and six okay we have the understanding of the name of Barack Obama that his name means lightning from heaven Barack Obama lightning from heaven 
and then he revealed himself on his at his birthday party as lightning from heaven when he revealed this leaked photo out of his birthday with lightning coming out of him okay now this was august 7th exactly between that night and the next day there a rare nova became visible to the naked eye in the tail of Ophiuchus, which is the serpent bearer. Okay, in the tail of Ophiuchus, the one throwing out the serpent. This is representative of Michael in the Bible, who battles with Satan and throws out the devil. Okay, well, it was right here exactly in the tail of Ophiuchus that this appeared. Okay. And this appeared on August 8th, okay? So we have all of our signs leading us accordingly. From the second sign of Jonah, we're taken right to the birthday of Barack Obama. Then from the birthday of Barack Obama, he reveals himself as lightning from heaven. And exactly with the birthday of Barack Obama, we have a Nova star appear in the tale of Ophiuchus, okay? Then we have this understanding of a possible 21 day battle okay see how the Bible shows that there appeared another wonder in heaven behold a great red dragon having seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns upon his heads his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven okay his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven and this is where that Nova star appeared but then we have a battle and this is what I was pointing to on August 28th, the 21 day battle of Michael coming to August 28th. There was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon and the dragon fought in his angels and prevailed not. Neither was their place found anymore in heaven. And the, the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceived the whole world. He was cast out into the earth and his angels were cast out with him. Then we have the understanding from, from Daniel chapter 10. It says, The prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me one and twenty days. But lo, Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me, and I remained there with the kings of Persia. Now I came to make thee understand what shall befall thy people in the latter days, for yet the vision is for many days. So we see that there was a 21-day battle between Michael and the king of Persia. And that this battle is to give us understanding in the end times, in the latter days. Okay, <clears throat> so we have from the birthday of Barack Obama, okay, lightning from heaven, we have a Nova star that appeared. According to scripture, the Nova star appeared exactly where it was supposed to appear in the tail. Okay, his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven. And this is where the Nova Star appeared. And this brings out then the understanding of a 21-day battle. Okay. So we have from August 8th or August 7th to August 28th, a 21-day battle. From the birthday party of Barack Obama to August 28th. And it was exactly here after a 21-day battle that we have Sunspot 2860 pushing off an M flare together with a C3 flare that took place one day previous. And these two are coming together and they're supposed to arrive here on Earth. This was Earth facing and this is going to affect the Earth's atmosphere anywhere between today, tomorrow, and September 1st. Okay, All of this connected to the bridegroom, connected to the midnight cry, connected to the timing of the flood of Noah, evacuation day, <clears throat> and could be leading us as far as the Feast of Trumpets. But I think the signs show that we are arriving here either on August 31st or on September 7th. August 31st may be a final seven-day warning I do not know if we can see it going past September 7th at all. We are here. This is such an important time. We've got all of the information going back to 
the Revelation 12 sign and the importance of the Feast of Trumpets. We've got the information going back, even stuff that I haven't even talked about on my channel. The, uh, the two cows going back to 2014 in the second cow being found exactly the two cows with the number seven on them. I haven't even talked about that, but those of you who are watching uh, End Time Prophecy know what I'm talking about. And this is pointing to the Feast of Trumpets of 2021, a seven-year sign from 2014. Okay, so all of this together. I pray that this information is a blessing to all of you and uh, hope, hoping we're going to be out of here before I need to get back on my original channel. I pray you guys are blessed. This is Steve Fletcher with a trumpet for my people. The sign of his coming revealed.